Happy Thanksgiving. And it starts with pancakes, fresh fruit, toast, um, Brian's omelet, and chicken sausage. And curacao. And I got my Starbucks. What time do they open, dear? <laughs> well, this morning I got there even before they opened by accident. So I had to go back. But anyway, 10 minutes ago, I saw a whole dolphin pod right outside of our balcony. And it was amazing. And Carrie didn't see it because she was in the shower and she missed it, but I saw it. But Brian took video of it for me, so I got to see it that way. But yeah, we're pulling up right now to Curacao, our first time here. Neither of us have been here before. And then um, we're today we're doing an official Royal Caribbean excursion, which is the Caves and Mambo Beach. Okay, here we are. Welcome to Curacao. So we're, we have to meet up with our excursion right here at the pier. I actually see all the buses down there already. Yeah, there's a big mass of people down there. We have boarded our bus for our excursion heading to the Hato Caves first. Okay, we made it. We did. This is the cave, Hato Cave. I guess we go in, I don't know. I heard it's haunted, I don't, I don't know if. I heard it's gonna collapse today. Yeah. <laughs> we learned some interesting stuff from our bus driver. We sure did. There's 130,000 people that live on this island, which seems like a lot to me. I also didn't know that these islands, Bonaire, Aruba, and Curacao are all like, they're all Holland owned. Did you know that? Yeah, and I didn't know that. He said like when people finish high school, they have a choice. Like they can go to college here on the island or they can go to Holland to go to college. And, and they like, don't need a visa because they're like Holland residents. And then like they pay for it and then like Holland pays for their college and then they just have to like pay it back when they get a job or something. Poisonous. Apparently this is poisonous. That's crazy. Yeah. Anyway, um, the other thing is he said 80% of the citizens here are vaccinated. Yeah. So that's more than America. For sure. That's crazy. Yeah. When I'm making like a lot of my ads at work, a lot of them are like all the people at the hotel or resort all the workers there, they're all vaccinated. Really? And that's like an advertising point. Wow. Yeah. Like, yeah, a lot of places in America can't say that. Uh-uh. Okay, we just learned it's not the tree that's poisonous. It's these little, like, droplings from the tree that are poisonous. Yeah, she just said if you eat it, it will, like, burn up your stomach. And then, but she did say, like, lizards can eat them, no problem. Well, yeah. Like, look, there's a ton right here. I think you should eat one. Like, I'm really hungry. That's the problem. <laughs> no, they're like all over the ground here. Maybe it would feel nice to have your stomach burn. They're going to guide us through the cave. Here we go. Tour starting now. We just learned that we can't film in there, so we'll let you know how it goes. Why can't we film in there? can't film because this is a commercial cave. I didn't know that. I don't even know what that means. Like, they shoot commercials in there. No. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, he said we're, there's going to be five chambers. Um, each one is haunted. No, I added that. Um, but he did but say you can go said, at your own risk, so... Well, he said that um, two of the chambers we can film, but the other three we can't. Probably because there's too many ghosts. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why two we can't. Why do you keep saying that? <laughs> I think it's probably because like they don't want people like filming the entire thing and then then people are like oh I could just watch the whole thing on YouTube. Yeah. Which is kind of lame because the whole point is to go in person. The cave is cool. This is really cool. There's hundreds of bats in here. It's and amazing. Yeah. We met Batman yeah. and Dracula. The the bats are like they're so close and they're just like all over and flying around it's crazy. Um this is one of the only places where you can take photos. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. We've learned so much. I learned the difference between a stalactite and a stalagmite. I think the tight comes from the ceiling and the mite comes from the ground, but it comes from the ground because it's like dripping down. Um, and then I got, there, there's, there's spring water above us and it drips down and that's how it works. 
and some bitch on my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and so there's a no, hole up no, here, which is why it's it's bright in here. Um, and that's that little pillar used to be where that hole is, but there was an earthquake, and this whole section right here fell down. It's really cool how they figured it out, like when it happened too, because they say that um, a centimeter of stalactite is formed over a hundred years. And yeah. so using that math, they can figure out when the earthquake happened based on some of the stalactites up there. So they'd say it's a thousand years ago because it's about 10 centimeters. How cool is that? Yeah, this is really cool. I wish we could like take photos in the other areas. Yeah, so we saw like a dark room because they like turned off all the lights in there to show what it would look like if they didn't put artificial lights in and it was really dark. Um, we could have shown the bats. The bats were really cool. And then there was like a room with um, water. I mean, this whole thing used to be underwater is what they were saying. Yeah, and then like it, it what did they say? Like okay. because of the ice age, the sea levels dropped? No, I don't know. I think that that's what they said. Or earthquakes or something. Also, it's hot in here. I've visited a cave before. My mom will put in the comments below when and where that was, but I believe it was in Pennsylvania, and I was probably like seven. Um, and it was cold in that cave. And he said that this is one of the very few caves that are actually hot because of its elevation. Okay, we're going into the next chamber. Chamber 5, a.k.a. the Chamber of Secrets, yeah. where we can also take photos. And we can defeat Lord Voldemort. That's definitely haunted. Yeah, that's what makes the blue light the haunting. Right up here is a laughing donkey. Like, that's his nose and that's his mouth open. <sighs> we made it out of the cave. Now we're heading out of this area. Getting back on the bus and heading to Mambo Beach. Is that what it's called? Mm-hmm. Okay, we made it. Mambo Beach. Pizza. Uh, <laughs> Mambo Beach is uh, decorated for Christmas. They have a Christmas tree. This place is called Bro. <laughs> Men's fashion. They've put us in the cruise ship bubble area. So here we are, Mambo Beach. We're in the cruise ship bubble. Of course. <laughs> um, not the best beach weather today. Very cloudy. Very cloudy. We've gotten unlucky with the, the weather. Yeah. But it's, I can, it's beautiful. I can see that during sunny weather, it would be gorgeous. Water's cold, but it's Thanksgiving. We're 35 miles from Venezuela, which yeah. means this is South American waters, and that's cool. Okay, they also said that on a clear day, you can see the mountains from Venezuela? Yeah, is that what they said? Like yeah. something like that? Yeah. Okay, but I want to swim to those rocks and climb up on top of them. Okay, I'm gonna have to get used to the water first. We're doing it. <laughs> it's harder than it looks. <laughs> the water is cold. Okay, we did it. <laughs> I'm out of breath. Me too. My mom, she used to do like swim competitions. I feel like she'd be unproud of me. What's the opposite of proud? Ashamed. Ashamed. Look, people are, uh, they've carved their name. 94? Wow. Has that been here since 94? We need a rock. We need to see. Ryan was scary. Yeah. Okay, so this is. Oh, there's the crowd. Whoa, there's like a hole here. This is my favorite part. What if I went in? Yeah, I to climb in there. Done. No, I don't Babe, climb in. Baby, I don't want to die. Baby, if you die, I'm really sorry. It was nice to know you. Our bus picked us up at the beach. Uh, kind of wish we had more time. Yeah. Because the weather wasn't really that bad. And then dropped us back off at the ship, but... We passed the Starbucks. And I think I saw the mug, I think I saw it. I don't believe it, but I mean, we might as well go check. Yeah, we have plenty of time. It's like probably like only like a five or 10 minute walk. We passed it on the bus right here, so. Might as well. Yeah, I mean, if I, if they do have like a You Are Here mug for Curacao and I don't get it, I mean, 
Who knows what would happen to me? Devastated. Well, well, well. If you insist. They know. Except for it's like there's a mug calling my name. Yeah, but close enough. They don't have it. See, from our bus, I saw a mug in a box, and that's this. That's not what we're after. Look, they have this 50% off city mugs, but that's not what I'm looking for. It's I very... wonder if they're doing that because they're about to have you have in their series mug. I don't know. It's very close, but that's not it. I'm so sorry. Because I can't get a mug that's not in the same like series in the design. Of course not. We're heading back to the ship. We're probably going to spend some time in the pool while we're up there. And then we'll just get ready for our delicious Thanksgiving dinner on board. We made it to the pool deck. We're going to get a little lunch at El Loco Fresh. Let's see what they got here. They have burritos, chips, nachos with chili and cheese, tacos, quesadillas. I decided to get some nachos and a chicken quesadilla. Here's the thing, it's Thanksgiving. I am like, my stomach is empty until there's turkey in it. But also I ate at the beach. <laughs> yeah, I didn't eat at the beach. And it's gonna go down at Thanksgiving because we're gonna get a double dinner. And you confirmed through the cruise planner that the Windjammer will be serving Thanksgiving. Yes, I, um, when we get back to the room, I'll, I'll look at that again. But yeah, they have, um, Windjammer has Thanksgiving, which I'm, I was so excited when I read that. I gasped involuntarily and I scared Carrie. I, I like went, was oh. half asleep and I was like, oh my God, what? Because I was reading the cruise planner in bed. And <laughs> because I was so excited that it said it had Thanksgiving. And then um, obviously main dining room, so. Two Thanksgivings, it's all right. Yeah, but we're gonna do Windjammer as soon as they open at 5.30 and then dinner like later maybe like 8 yeah. or like 8 30. yeah but it's thanksgiving that's what you're supposed to do and also we want to check out what both have to offer have to offer so but this is the life right here this and this and this <laughs> a man in his natural habitat <laughs> ladies get you a man with this kind of sex appeal <laughs> cleaned my face and got dressed. I was wondering like a few days ago, like, oh my God, what do we wear on Thanksgiving? Is it gonna be formal? Well, I have your answer right now. It is casual. I love that. That's shocking, I know. Cause in my eyes, Thanksgiving is kind of like jeans or even like comfy, stretchy pants. <laughs> so the food can fit in. I, yeah. I don't feel like Thanksgiving is fancy. It's like casual. Yeah. Here it is. Happy Thanksgiving. How many times can we say that in this episode? 12,000. This, ep this is one new episode of Using Cues. In this video. <laughs> um, also, this is the thing I was freaking out about. That you gasped and freaked yeah. me out about. Windjammer Thanksgiving dinner. Can you see that? I don't know. Yeah, that looks right. Wow. We're thankful to have you on board with us and hope you're having a goblin good Thanksgiving filled with all your favorite fixins. Goblin so, makes it sound like uh, Halloween, but you meant like, like gobble gobble. Yeah. Gobble, not goblin. Yeah. Before we like go to the Windjammer, I want to check to see um, if we can see Venezuela because it like kind of cleared up. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. And then I want to check out Playmakers just to see like what the situation is like because everyone's watching football. Oh, yeah. I was confused when you said that, but I forgot that for some people Thanksgiving means football. So I'm, I'm sure it's busy, but we'll see. We don't see it. We're looking for Venezuela. The sun sets in the west. Venezuela is in the south, so we're kind of looking this way. I don't see any mountains. It's kind of cloudy that way. Yeah, it's too cloudy. Yeah. Well, I was right. Playmakers is packed. <laughs> Holy moly. But this is pretty cool. It's a lot of cowboys. I would have wanted to like watch the Bears if they were playing, but they were playing at one while we were on the island. So like, you know. This is funny though. Yeah. Um, we're doing some Black Friday, you know, door busting for the Windjammer. <laughs> we're going to be the first ones in here. We're gonna be the first to gobble till you wobble. 
Wow. Looks like mini cupcakes and a big cake. I love that. Thank you. Wow. So they have turkey and Brussels sprouts. There's a turkey here. And they're carving one. They got a lot of turkey back there. It was, it was a mad rush. <laughs> and I think that they were a little like unprepared for what all of us Americans wanted. You know, they had these little skillets out. Yeah, well, it's kind of cool because this is like sweet potato mashed turkey and stuffing. And it's like pre-made, like you yeah. can just get that. But everybody really like rushed to the like cut up turkey. Yeah, there, there was a carving station where he was carving a freshly made turkey. And people wanted individual stuffing and the yeah. only place they had stuffing out was like on these trays. So they had to get a like impromptu tray set up for yeah. stuffing. And then like the gravy was over by the mashed potatoes, which was really far away from the turkey. And people were like, where's the gravy for the turkey? <laughs> but, but, but I'm really happy with this. I got turkey, stuffing, mashed potatoes and gravy, and this little cake that says Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, if you tell me that that's good, I'm gonna have to get that on the way out. The only thing yeah. different that I have is a cornbread that I'm gonna share with Brian because yeah. of my love and you know, I'm thankful for Brian today, so I got him cornbread. And they're gonna, um, they're looking for uh, cranberry sauce and they're gonna bring it to us. If Cause I just, I just said like, oh, do you have cranberry sauce? And he's like, where are you sitting? I'll go find it and get it to you. I just feel like they're not gonna have it and I don't want him to feel bad or like go make some. The guy was really nice. He got us some cranberry sauce. He was really nice. <laughs> what he's done for us. This is awesome. Yeah, probably hard to tell, but uh, we're starting to pull away from Curacao. And this has been very delicious. Yours is gone and I'm still like halfway through mine, so. I just noticed here in the Windjammer that this beautiful light is also a tree. It's very important. It's very pretty. Okay, they're serving this. Um, oh my goodness. Happy Thanksgiving! You too! This is very exciting. I didn't know that people could actually eat the turkey that's sculpture. Nice. Yeah, that's cool. We noticed some new Christmas merchandise in the store, so we're gonna bust down the doors, the little door buster thing going on, because we definitely need it, and uh, the store's opening right now, and we need to be the first to get it. We will push and shove our way. And trample? Yes. Because yesterday the store was closed. Yeah. Completely. And we just looked through the window and we were like, oh my God, new merchandise. Okay, let's, let's I think we're good. This is what we're talking about. This is an amazing beanie. And these shirts, actually these, I think these are both for girls. So. Maybe you can have one. I don't know if I could pull that off, but I do want the beanie. That's great. Is that a, a, a It's an extra small, but This I is an extra it, small? It's cause it's like a spirit jersey style. Oh, that's a spirit jersey. So I definitely cannot wear the, I didn't realize that. Okay, well this is mine. Okay, well, I'm gonna get this beanie. Should I get these sweatpants or is that silly? That's silly. Okay, let's get these then. We're gonna come back tomorrow on Black Friday and see if anything's on sale. We don't think that there will be. <laughs> We're keeping what? our receipts. I mean, there's no way it will be, but just in case. Right. But these, you know, we have to have these and we can't let that sell out. While we wait for our stomachs to digest, we're stopping at the schooner bar for some 2000s music trivia. I'm actually really pumped for this because I there usually is like 70s or 80s or even 60s. This is our time. It's busy in here. I'm hoping either we can hear it from here or when they start, it clears out. Yeah, because those people in there look kind of old. Like, aren't they going to know 2000s music? Yeah, and then all like every empty seat was marked off for physical distancing. We're three questions in. And we're feeling good. I've never felt this good during a trivia thing. Let's see what we have so far. Obviously, Timber by Kesha. Then Hits Don't Lie, Shakira, obviously. I don't know how to spell her name, but you know. Love story, Taylor Swift. Brian's in love with Taylor Swift. We know this already. I'm not in love. Of course, because you're in love with me, and I don't look like Taylor Swift. I'm sorry. By the way, this turned out to be a good seat for this, because we can still hear, because there's like speakers like right here. And I feel like it's actually probably quieter than in there, because people are probably like, oh, 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 oh whispering. Yeah. The family behind us uh, were, were completely baffled by Shakira Hips Online, <laughs> which I think is fun. Song number five. It's time to like uh, total up your points. 
Twenty three points. Each, that's way better than our seven general points. knowledge trivia. So how do we do? I'm very proud of us. We got twenty three out of a possible. I think he said thirty six. Um, and that sounds bad. It does, but. Two of them were impossible, honestly. Yeah. I agree. This one I'm mad about because it was Sex on Fire, and we just wrote Fire and Kings of Leon. I really should have gotten that. Um, that one I'm upset about. And then I'm also upset. I put Mercy by Amy Winehouse, and it's actually by Duffy, and that's kind of my bad. But yeah, we did a good job, and you know what? I enjoyed it because I actually knew this stuff. That's never happened to me before because everyone always does. 70s and 80s trivia, and I'm just happy that I was alive during this time yeah. to participate. Okay, and we got 23 and the winner got 27, right? Yeah. So that's not too far off. That's not that far off. Yeah. Oh my God. What? <laughs> we have turkeys on their house. There's some turkeys down there. We've been sitting here looking at um, all the stores here and how mostly they're empty and nobody really shops in them. And except for like the shop, which is like the Royal Caribbean one, people shop in that one. We've decided we're gonna revolutionize the Royal Caribbean Esplanade by. Yeah. But we have great ideas, and it's not even funny how great these ideas are. Correct. Number one, big old candy store. I would go in there, the kids would go in kids there. Would go crazy. I mean, my dad would go <laughs> crazy in there. <laughs> okay, but number two, which this one is. If Royal doesn't do this, I, I don't even... I, what are you doing, Royal? What are you doing? A bookstore. Yeah. When people are at the pool deck, they're reading their books. Yes. What if they finish their book? And the internet doesn't work. The internet doesn't work. And I think it should be like a techie bookstore, like part Apple store, part bookstore. And it should have like headphones and I don't know. Um, even but mainly like magazines, if th those still exist, and just a ton of books. like. And also it would like make it cozy in there and people could sit in there. They could hang out. Yeah. Okay, another, my next thought is they've got like tacky t-shirts and instead of that, I feel like it should be like a swimsuits and cover-ups and like sunglasses and it shouldn't be like Chanel sunglasses or something. Like it should just be- Like a sunglass hut or something. Right, like regular people sunglasses. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what was the other thing? Oh, so they have like a general shop, but it's like primarily alcohol. And I feel like there should be like a little mini CVS in here with like band-aids and, you know, um, sodas. And what's another thing that's at CVS? Shampoo. I don't know. Anyway, um, Royal, call us up. We'll fix this issue. It's not an issue. We will revolutionize the shopping at sea. The problem is that right now, there's all this space here, not a single person is in it. I mean, we've been sitting here for like an hour and like, there's been a couple of people to walk through. You ready for your second dinner? Oh my God, I'm honestly not. I'm like <laughs> excited for it, but I'm not hungry for it. Well, you better make room. I will, because there's ham. Jump up and down. Do it what like Joey Chestnut does to like push it down his like stomach. I don't want to do that. This is actually our first time in the dining room on this cruise. There's a whole holiday selections portion. Oh really? I I like um I like where we're sitting. It's like it's nice and quiet and it's kind of cool back here. Anyway, we have a special menu. This is so cool. It says Happy Thanksgiving, and then this is holiday selections. This is really cool. I love this. For Thanksgiving, they have some sweet potato and butternut squash soup, pumpkin pie, pecan pie. I think what we're gonna do is like, I'm gonna get the turkey, you're gonna get the ham, and then we're just gonna split it so we can like try everything. Correct. Yeah. We're not gonna get an appetizer. I don't think we're gonna get the I am either. so full right now. Yeah. It's so funny that it's literally the beginning of dinner and I'm saying that I'm full. That's the spirit of Thanksgiving. It is. So what are you thankful for? You, Royal Caribbean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my mommy, okay. my daddy, my brother, my sister-in-law, my kitty cat, Peter Parker, my doggo, Comet Marie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thankful for beautiful beaches, uh, creepy caves, bat poop, 
because a bat pooped on your shoulder and you thought it was water, but it was actually bat poop. I think it was water because I feel like it would have been like white or a weird color, but we don't know. It was right underneath the bats that I felt that. So, okay, Brian, same question. What are you thankful for? I always hate this question when like my mom will ask this at Thanksgiving. Yeah. I just want to die. Yeah. Sorry, mom. I'm thankful for. Um, my parents for taking me on cruises when I was a little kid nice. and infecting me with the cruise bug. Infecting, nice. I loved it as a kid, I love it now. And it's thanks to that to them. So Wow. Yeah. Anything else? I guess you. Oh, okay. Okay, I got the ham. It comes with sweet potatoes, green beans, and carrots. Here's the turkey. Turkey stuffing, mashed potatoes under there, and I guess potatoes there? And carrots? I'm not sure. Sorry, Windjammer, but the main dining room meal is so much better. It's just it's the same stuff, but it, it just tastes better and like hotter and fresher. I don't know. Carrie is convinced that her ham is dark meat turkey, and honestly, I'm not sure. I have no idea. I feel like ham has a very like distinct salty taste, and this doesn't have it. But I can't be that person that's like taking it. It's 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 confusing me. I don't. It kind of tastes like ham, but it kind of tastes like dark meat turkey. I don't know. But is it good? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Here it is, the grand finale, the pumpkin pie. It looks like it was, um, what's that, like what they do to creme brulee, what's that, like... Oh, like pie? torched or something? Yeah. Yeah. Like the sugar with the, it, you know? I mean, this doesn't look like any pumpkin pie I've ever seen, but... No, it looks fancy. I'm sure it'll be good, but this is it, this is the grand finale. It is. I, I, we're dying. I'm ready for it to be the grand finale. <laughs> okay, do you think we have a turkey, Gus? What do you think, yes or no? Oh my god! <gasps> he has eyes! Wow. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it so much. We've never seen real eyes. I love it. This is... I mean, this has got to be top 10 Gus. Oh my god, number one Gus. Because this is really unique. Nobody's getting this on the regular. No. This is a one day a year Gus. I don't, I don't think anyone's ever seen this before on the internet. I, oh, okay, on the internet. Yeah. Because I'm pretty sure this time last year somebody saw it. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, no, because it was 2020, so. Oh, that's true. <laughs> this time two years ago, someone saw it. Couple, couple. You're leaving your mask on. Like someone, oh. com someone commented and was like, you always forget to take your mask off in the room, and Especially, you do. Like right when I walk into the room. We just I forget. forget. We just literally forget to take it off. And then sometimes we're like about to walk out of the room and then we remember like we want to say something or whatever and I've like got my mask on and I just completely forget that that like that's on. Gobble, gobble. At least, you know, this one didn't have to suffer like the other ones did that are now in our stomach. Oh God. This one had the presidential pardon. We are now on our way back to Florida but we still have two days left at sea to enjoy our fun on Royal Caribbean's Odyssey of the Seas. <laughs> In our next video, we have another day at sea. We check out the skydiving simulator and we find our first duck of the cruise.